gently into the ear canal and look through the glass window of the otoscope, which is a magnifying lens, to visualize the tympanic membrane and ear canal. Should you wish to insert a probe or similar instrument through the otoscope, the magnifying window can be slid open, the probe or small forceps used, then withdrawn and the otoscope removed gently. Switch the power handle off by rotating the rheostat towards you. Remove the otoscope head from the power handle with a downward push and gentle twist to the left. On completion of the examination, the speculum should be removed from the otoscope head, any cerumen removed with a tissue or cotton bud, and the speculum washed in warm water prior to putting it into a disinfecting solution, either of 70% isopropyl alcohol or soaking in any recognized sterilization solution. Before using the speculum on the next patient, it must be removed from the solution rinsed in clean water and dried thoroughly. On certain types of otoscopes, there's a small hole on one side. This is the insufflation port. A small insufflation bulb is attached to this port and air is introduced into the ear to facilitate certain ear examinations. The tongue blade holder is used with a wooden tongue depressor to view the mouth cavity, tongue and throat of a patient. Attach the tongue blade holder head onto the power handle with a firm twist to the right. Undo the screw on top of the tongue blade holder and insert a new wooden tongue depressor. Turn the screw down to secure the tongue depressor into the unit. Depress the green power button and turn the rheostat onto full power. Ask the patient to open their mouth fully and let their tongue relax and say ah. Depress the tongue gently but firmly with the wooden tongue depressor, but be careful that you do not go too deep and initiate the patient's gag reflex, which can be quite sensitive in some patients. Do the visual examination of the mouth cavity, tonsils and throat. On completion, remove the tongue blade holder from the mouth, switch the power handle off, undo the screw on top of the unit and remove the tongue depressor and dispose of it in a suitable receptacle. Remove the tongue blade holder from the power handle. Power handle battery replacement. Unscrew the cap of the power handle and remove the old batteries. Replace with new ones, making sure that these are inserted correctly. Replace the cap. Should the unit not be used for some time, remove the batteries prior to storing to prevent battery leakage and corrosion of the handle. Otoscope, tongue blade holder bulb replacement. The bulb is located inside the head and can be seen when the head is turned upside down. The bulb is gently pulled out of the socket, holding it by the back end, using either your fingertips or pulling it gently with small forceps or a similar instrument. Ophthalmoscope bulb replacement. The bulb is in the same place as in the otoscope, but has a small pin on the side which can be seen on removal. When inserting a new bulb, care must be taken to ensure that the pin on the new bulb is lined up in the slot on the ophthalmoscope head. It is recommended that only bulbs provided by the manufacturers for the specific heads be used to ensure optimum brightness and proper operation of the units. Please note the specific instructions pertaining to battery and bulb replacement may differ from manufacturer to manufacturer. Therefore, care must be taken to read the manual supplied with the unit prior to bulb and battery replacement.
The lamp does not illuminate in one of the heads. Put another attachment onto the power handle. If that one illuminates, change the bulb of the first attachment. If none of the attachments illuminate, replace the batteries in the power handle. If the fault cannot be rectified after these checks, the unit should be referred to a suitably qualified person for further inspection.